Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and in today's quick video, I wanna cover how can you hard code a date value into a calculation in Tableau. Uh, so let's say that you know, you've got some sort of question here at the beginning that you're trying to handle. So in this one it says, uh, you know, how would sales compare for April 15th through July 15th, maybe like 2022 versus 2021? Um, so that's doable, but that's a pretty specific range of values and it's going to cross over two years. So there's a way to do this with a parameter that makes it a little bit more dynamic and we'll probably cover that in a future video. Um, but for today's video, we're just going to cover how would you hard code um, that capability. So let me go ahead and start this by creating a new calculated field. And I'll just call this like sales uh, 4, 15, 22 through... Uh, 7, 15, 22. So how I would start this off is I'm gonna start off with an if statement that has some of those logical conditions. So I will say if the, in this case it's called order date. So if the order date field is greater than or equal to, and now I want the beginning of my date range, April 15th, 2022. Um, so here's how Tableau would want this hard coded. I'm gonna do, uh, it's actually like a pound sign or hashtag, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll do 4, uh, 15, 2022. Okay. And then I'm going to say, and the order date needs to be less than or equal to, and then again, in a pound sign, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that better, 7, 15, 2022. Uh, so if it's greater than or equal to April 15th and less than or equal to July 15th, then give me the sales value. And, oh, it's called revenue here, my bad. Swap that in, then revenue, end. Okay, so first of all, let's just confirm that that worked because I never know, you never know. I could have uh, could be having one of those mornings where it's just not working the way that I expect. So let me go ahead and throw the day field on here and then my sales values. And then I scroll my way on down. That is what we wanna see, right? So I don't, there's no April 15th, but we've got April 16th, 2022. And that goes through July 14th, 2022. There's no July 15th. So that's giving us our sales values. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the prior year so we can do some comparison. Real quick though, before we do that, um, if you wanna check out this link up here in the upper corner, we are having a calculations class actually in just a few weeks. So we'd love to have you join us. Um, and I'll also show off some other classes that are coming up. We've got a couple different levels of calculation classes. So if this is up your alley, you wanna learn a lot more about day calculations and just all things Tableau calculations, um, Check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna duplicate our calculation that we just created. And this one, I'm just gonna set it to be 415.21 through 715.21. So this should actually be a pretty quick changeover for us. Okay, so we go 415.21, 715.21. Okay, so now we've got these two different values for the two different date ranges. We're just gonna assume that one worked. If it didn't, we'll find out here quickly. So let's say I want to know, you know, how did how did different subcategories sales compare for those time periods? So then maybe I would create kind of a final calculated field and I would say something like, you know, sales difference, you know, 415 to 715. So really important here, uh, I'll put a link to it, but to uh, in the description where you can see a video that we did about why it's important to use aggregations in Tableau calculations, but really important here that we do use aggregations because otherwise, um, comparing these values from these different date ranges is gonna return some null values. So I wanna do the sum of the 2022 sales minus the sum of the 2021 sales. So uh, we're calling this a revenue, aren't we? Whatever, too late. So I go ahead and do this and I throw this thing on my column shelf and then I can see that, yeah, there's like a, you know, a pretty big difference. You know, some of our categories are way up. Copiers were $15,000 ahead of where we were and machines were 16,000 behind where we were. And then maybe just for good measure, I go ahead and uh, throw these calculations on tooltip so we can see the actual numbers, right? So, hey, we're at $24,000 of copiers for that time period, 2022, compared to less than 10,000, 2021. So there you go. That's just sort of a quick run through of how do you hard code date values into Tableau calculations. So thanks for checking this out. We appreciate you joining us and we look forward to catching you on another video here in the next week. Thanks.